Hey, what's up Team LCPS and happy Friday. I hope you've had a fantastic week. It's hard to believe, but we have made it to March of 2022. Spring is right around the corner. And as I visited our schools this week, I saw excitement, I saw energy, I saw students and staff working together and showing why Louisa County Public Schools is such a special place to be. This is all possible because here in Louisa County, we support one another and look out for each other. So as we begin today's episode, I want to say once again, thank you. Thank you to everyone out there watching for helping make this school year a success. It's taken a team effort and we're making it happen together. And coming up next Wednesday, we have another exciting opportunity to work together to improve our community. Wednesday, March 9th is an asynchronous learning day and we're going to be having our students and staff out in our community cleaning up our local schools, parks, and roads once again. We did a community cleanup back in October and it was a huge success. So we're going to be launching round two on Wednesday and this is a great opportunity for elementary, middle, and high school students and be on the lookout for our highlights next week. And speaking of highlights, I want to highlight a few of our outstanding student athletes at LCHS. Nicholas Emmert, J. Carter, and Tyler Torbush all finished third in the entire state in their respective event. For Nick, it was the 1600 meter run. For J, it was the triple jump. And for Tyler, it was the pole vault. These three represented LCPS with class and made us proud. Great work and congratulations on an outstanding performance this year. All right, now let's highlight some more awesome individuals, and you know what we call them, our Team LCPS MVPs. They're individuals who live out these non-negotiables right here of support, high expectations, accountability, consistency, positivity, and grit. And first up, our community MVP this week, the honor goes to Ms. Caitlin Seidel, and Ms. Seidel is one awesome community member, and she's also been doing an incredible job recently serving as a substitute teacher at both Moss Knuckles Elementary School and Louisa County High School. She's organized, prepared, and keeps everything running smoothly. One nomination for Caitlin said this week, she's been going the extra mile and ensuring things have gone smoothly. I appreciate all that she's done for our team. So Caitlin, it's obvious you've been doing an amazing job as a substitute. That's a big boost for us here at LCPS and we cannot thank you enough for doing such a great job. Now, take some time to celebrate because you are this week's community MVP. Congratulations and great job. All right, next up, our classified MVP of the week. And with that, let's head over to Trevelyan's Elementary School to recognize Ms. Carla Scott. Ms. Scott is an instructional assistant at Trevelyan's Elementary, and this is one special educator. And it's no surprise that she got a big applause when she was announced as MVP. Ms. Scott is 100% dedicated to supporting her fellow staff members and students at Trevelyan's Elementary School. One nomination for her this week said she takes great pride in supporting our staff and students and works through even the most challenging situations. Another nomination said she is very patient and works hard to meet the individual needs of the students she works with. She's always positive. Those are great nominations for a great person. Ms. Scott, you are making a huge difference in the lives of our students. We're so appreciative of your efforts and the reason I love our MVP awards is because we get to recognize amazing people just like you. Keep up the great work and congratulations on being this week's classified MVP. Well done. All right, now let's move to our certified MVP of the week and for that we honor LCHS counselor, Kristen Frith. Like all of our counselors this year, Ms. Frith has done an incredible job being there for our students and making sure they feel encouraged and cared for. She's a great listener, a great friend, and recently she's also organized CPR training sessions for students who needed the credit to graduate, and she's done a great job with it. One person this week who nominated Ms. Frith said she is full of wonderful ideas and has so much to offer LCHS and our entire community. We couldn't agree more, and today we have something to offer Ms. Frith, a certified MVP award. Ms. Frith, fantastic job. We appreciate all that you do to support your fellow Lions. Keep it up and congratulations. All right, and finally, let's wrap up our MVPs this week by naming our student MVP of the week. And this week, the honor goes to trailblazer, Andrew Billings. 
All of us at LCPS are proud of this young man. Andrew is a fifth grader at JES, and as they say at Jewett, he is legendary. He's polite, he's kind, he treats people with respect, and he always has that smile on his face. One person who nominated him this week said, I feel better every time I speak with Andrew. Andrew, as a fifth grader, you are already setting an example for those around you. Your positivity and your kindness is making a difference in our world and certainly in our community. We're incredibly proud of you and I know your fellow trailblazers are as well and they're glad to have you on their team. Well today, we're glad to have this opportunity to honor you as our student MVP of the week. Well done my friend, keep up the great work. You have a bright future ahead of you. So those are our MVPs for the week, a great group of winners. Let's recognize them one more time. Our community MVP, substitute teacher, Caitlin Seidel. Our classified MVP, Trevelyan's Elementary School Instructional Assistant, Carla Scott. Our certified MVP, Louisa County High School Counselor, Kristen Frith. And our student MVP of the week, Jewett Elementary School fifth grader, Andrew Billings. Congratulations to these MVPs and be sure to take a moment to comment below and tell them job well done. And job well done to all of you out there for submitting MVP nominations. Keep them coming. Remember, everyone who is nominated gets a card in the mail detailing how they are making a positive impact at Team LCPS. And as we sign off, once again, a reminder that next Wednesday, March 9th, is an asynchronous learning day at LCPS. It's round two of our community cleanup, so we're looking forward to doing that as well. Thank you again for your continued support, Team LCPS. Have a great week. Thanks for watching, and remember, we are Team LCPS, and we're one of a kind.